Here is an explanation for the answer to final exam question number 9 in Alternative Energy Demystified 2nd Edition. If you have the printed book, you'll find it at the top of page 312. We're talking about burning a mixture of hydrogen gas and air. What do we get if we do that? Well, remember, hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water, and air comprises about 21% oxygen at sea level under ordinary conditions. So if we burn hydrogen and air, we're going to get, well, we're going to get energy uh, because hydrogen and oxygen combine to form water and energy. We're going to get water vapor, we're going to get energy, but we're also going to get a little bit of nitrous oxide gas. Where does that come from? Well, remember that air is mostly nitrogen gas and when we burn hydrogen in the air we do get a little bit of that nitrogen combining with some of the oxygen to form nitrous oxide gas. If, if we were to burn hydrogen in an atmosphere of pure oxygen then the correct choice would be B, energy and water vapor, but nothing else, presuming that the hydrogen and oxygen were in the exact right proportion to completely burn each other or combine to uh, form water molecules. Otherwise, we might get a little bit of oxygen or a little bit of hydrogen left over. We're never going to get methane out of this. And we're never going to get just energy and nothing else. There is going to be water vapor. But we are going to get this nitrous oxide gas. And that is choice D. So choice D is the correct answer to this problem. Let's look at a water molecule. I've taken this diagram from my book Physics demystified second edition from chapter 4. You'll find it in chapter 4. It's figure 4-3. It is a simplified rendition of a water molecule. One atom of oxygen combined with two atoms of hydrogen to form the familiar H2O water. So we need two atoms of hydrogen and one atom of oxygen for every water molecule. So if we find hydrogen to oxygen in the ratio of two atoms of hydrogen for every atom of oxygen and nothing else, if we were to put those say in a tank and then and then light that tank on fire or put a spark, <laughs> well we wouldn't want to do it in a tank. Uh, a balloon, okay? You could, you can actually electrolyze water into hydrogen and oxygen and get this exact correct ratio and then blow up a balloon with the resulting combination of gases. But I would strongly advise against your ever setting that balloon on fire or igniting that balloon because it will explode. All of the hydrogen and oxygen will combine suddenly, leaving only energy and water vapor and believe me there will be a lot of energy there uh, you will probably get seriously injured if you do that so never ever try that in fact you need to be very careful about hydrogen gas in general because it is combustible it can replace methane gas for home heating provided that the infrastructure is properly modified and that's actually been talked about as an alternative energy source. Electrolyze water in huge amounts, say with sun and or wind or other or even atmospheric electricity. Electrolyze water in large pools, large brackish or alkali pools, and then take the resulting hydrogen gas and use it in place of methane or natural gas. That's been talked about. But but it hasn't been done on a large scale yet because it just costs too much. It costs more to, 
to produce it that way than to just burn the old methane just to drill the holes in the ground as we seem to be uh, continuing to do indefinitely but the correct answer once again is D we will get energy water vapor and here's that water molecule and a little bit of nitrous oxide gas <laughs>